Welcome back to Feed the City. So we need to start thinking about food. The name of this series is Feed the City. And so far, we haven't fed the city at all. We've gone through the infrastructure, we've got some power, and we've got loads of systems in place. We've even now got a way to farm farm animals, which is kind of backwards because usually you farm crops before you farm animals. But we've managed to nail cow and sheep pretty well. I feel like going forwards, actually, we could even make a brand new barn and dedicate that to pigs very easily. But before we do that, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're going to have to make some restaurants in Feed the City. And I've said this before, I want to have a chili wowers for me. Duncan can have like a barbecue joint or like um, whatever restaurant he wants. And uh, Lewis is going to have a vegetarian place, a vegetarian restaurant. So we need to put together today a comprehensive menu. Because if we put together a menu, we can work out what foods we need in the city. And then we can work out what the most important crops are to grow. Because I want to build, uh, build those crop fields. But we don't know what to plant yet. So um, I think chilies, chilies are a good bet. We're definitely going to want some of those. So today I'm going to use signs and a clipboard to put together some comprehensive menus for these new restaurants. So let's go. Right, so I'm going to need a few things to get started. I'm going to need some signs so that we can have like an area in the kitchen or maybe in the house where we can just map our thoughts and put them onto a big old whiteboard. But also I want to make a clipboard because these are pretty cool. I saw Lewis use one in a Minecraft series once. Clipboards are pretty cool. Once we're done with it for the menus of the restaurants, we can then wipe it and use it for other things. It's going to be a super useful thing for us to carry around so that we can order our thoughts. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm planning things out, when I'm trying to think about something, it's good to write them down so that you can like better process them. I guess it works for like revising for exams. There we go. Okay, well feathers. There's some ducks. Let's go get some feathers. There we go, feathers. Okay, so feathers and ink. And now the last piece of the puzzle is sugar canes. This is the stuff right here. River canes. Fairly sure it can be turned into paper. Ah, here we go, some vanilla reeds. I think they're vanilla. Yeah, there we go, sugar canes. Okay, so sugar cane into paper. So it's three pieces of sugar cane for each piece of paper. We'll need a wooden pressure plate. Now, how do I make that? Is it like, there we go, like that. And I think that's all the materials. Bam, we have a clipboard. But to seal the deal, we're gonna need some signs as well. And three should do. Radio Champarinos, so let's take a look. We're gonna have three restaurants. What's a good wall we can use for planning? Here we go, so it's the restaurant plan. And uh, just put some signs up here. So the first restaurant is going to be Chili Wowers. And we're going to want chili style food, but that's that explains itself. The next restaurant is going to be, I think we want like a sushi restaurant. I think that kind of fits Lewis because he doesn't eat meat, but he does eat fish. So Lewis can have a sushi restaurant. Sounds pretty good. And Dunkarino, he can have I'll tell you what, Duncan also likes sushi, so how about we have a veggie restaurant as well, vegetarian restaurant as well. So okay, with these three restaurants in mind, we're going to need to put together a pretty decent menu. I'm going to choose, choose three main dishes for each of these restaurants, and then we'll use those meals, those dishes, to decide what are the first crops that we plant. So let's take a look. It looks like almost every single food recipe is from Pam's Harvest Craft, so we can literally go at Pam and look through this for some of the things we want to make. So for chili wows, we want chili. Extreme chili, that sounds like it's pretty good. So we want chili pepper, beans and onions. Now let's take a look at the sushi options. Hang on a sec, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how much hunger these things restore. Maybe we want, we want to be going for the super meals. So which one of these fits a super meal. So Chili Wowers is typically a very Mexican style hot spicy restaurant. So I think chimichangas are definitely something that we'd serve in a Chili Wowers. So we need, oh my God, this is a long one. Salsa. So the cheese and the cream and the cooking oil, not really a problem. Okay, this all seems pretty clear. I think 
The sushi restaurant and the veggie restaurant will have to wait because Chili Wowers and Chimichangas are going to be... This is, Chili Wowers is be the first restaurant, but one restaurant... We're thinking too big here. We need to go one restaurant at a time. So we'll do Chili Wowers first. The chili, the extreme chili, is chili pepper, beans and onions. But for the rest of it, well, let's just dissect the chimichanga. So garlic, lime, spice and tomato. That's a salsa taken care of. The taco needs walnut, lettuce and rice. OK, so we have our list of things we need for our superfood. And this is going to be called chili wowers. Chili peppers, beans, onions, garlic, lime, spice leaf, tomato, walnut, lettuce, and rice. Super simple. Okay, so we're going to have to order. Let's break this sign. Put the sign down here. Chili wowers. And on this rack here, we're going to put all the relevant seeds that we need. And we'll check off the notice, the clipboard, as we get the seeds. Then, once we've got all the seeds, we'll reset the clipboard and plant them all. Okay, a nice range of seeds there. We'll also go to the seeds bin over here. So, onion. Yes, we'll need some onion seeds. We'll add those. Brussels sprouts. Beans, finally. Some beans. And we've got bean seeds now. So we can check off spice leaf and beans. Soy, cantaloupe, rice. Rice we can check off. Okay, so the ones we're looking for are garlic, lime, tomato, walnuts, and lettuce. Now, I'm fairly sure that you can... There's another way of getting these seeds. Tomato seeds. So you can break a tomato. You can go to the world gen and break wheat grass. Or you can use a phytogenic insulator. Well, you know what that means, guys. We're going to empty out our pack because today we're hunting for seeds. We're on seed patrol. So I think we are literally going to just have to go through the forest and savagely just chop down tall grass till we get all the seeds that we need. We're on a seed hunt today, dudes. Oh, man. It could take us a while, but we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. So the drop rates for seeds is pretty high. Like, you usually get a seed pretty quickly from digging up plants. However, to find the specific seed that you're looking for, man, now that is a real lottery. Now, this is taking way too long. I've heard that you can use something called a market to get seeds. Here we go. Emerald, green or any color wool and planks. Maybe this is the better choice. I've spent a while digging up seeds, haven't been very lucky. But is the market what we need? I'm fairly sure a market lets you get specific seeds. There is a cost. There is a trade. But you can get exactly what you're looking for for the perfect meal. Hello, little guy. Have the fairies come to visit our farm? I dig it. They look so, look so cute. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay, this little piggy went to market and got all the seeds he needed to make the food he... Oh, chili pepper. Nice. Nice. So was it wool there? And then wood around the edges? Yes, it was. So the market is a very kitcheny thing. So we're going to plonk it there. Okay. Oh, this just got really expensive. It's one emerald per seed. We can mark off chili pepper because we just got that. But garlic, lime, tomato, walnut and lettuce. Are we really going to need five emeralds? That's a, that's a lot of emeralds to waste. Okay, yeah. Well, we know, we know what we need. We need three more emeralds. So I'm going to hit the nearby village. We're going to take our magic beans and get some emeralds. We're going to con some villagers. Now this looks like a garden with lots of different seeds. Coffee. Rice. Rice is good. Take that. More rice. We'll take all the rice. And the rest of this stuff doesn't look very useful. Canola. That's good for oil, I think. Okay, let's go and find a villager that wants to make some sweet trades. Farmer. All he wants is wheat. Wait, maybe we can milk his own crop. Oh, none of it's grown yet. A fisherman just wants string. Oh, no, he'll take string and he'll give us emeralds. What a deal. All right, well, it's time to wait. Give me back my string. Look for some other ones. Oh, this guy only wants 15 string. This guy just wants some treated sticks. 
Huh? String leather. Okay, well, we have a task now. We're going to go home. We're going to pick up some leather, some wool, and some string. Or we can turn the wool into string and then turn those into emeralds. Wow, 55 wool. So we should be dead set now to get all the emeralds we'll need. All right, all right. Here we go. Villagers, I have returned. I'm just going to take some of this guy's wheat. Oh, we should have got some wheat. Oh, I don't have I don't have a reliable wheat farm, actually. And we need all the ones we have for growing our crops. So maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the one. Where are these villagers? They're hiding. Oh, you can't hide from me. Oh, maybe you can hide from me. That's the jam guy, though. Don't have any jam to trade. You! String. 18 string. Bit of a rip. Bit of a rip off that one. You! 19 wheat. We don't have enough. 15 string. That is a good deal. Each wool piece makes four string. So, I do believe... Man, these guys don't run out of emeralds either, do they? Oh, no, they do. This guy has no more... Trade something else to unlock. So this guy has no more emeralds to trade. Fair enough. There's another guy over here that will also trade string. Oh, come back here, you. Oh, he wants 18. That's a bit of a rip. Nine leather. Don't mind if I do. 17 emeralds now. All right, mate. Oh, this guy wants to trade leather for an emerald. I'll take that deal. Hey, string boy. He's got his, uh, he's got his emeralds back. Boom, and there we go, 23 emeralds from this trade mission. We're gonna head home now and put this to good use, but I feel like with the, uh, with the market now, we can use these emeralds to buy the seeds we need. Okay, travelers, let's go to market. Ding, 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 okay, I would like, please, lettuce or tomato, giga pickle. We already got the chili pepper. Lettuce! Boom! We just bought one. Wait. Buy. Check. Tomato seeds. That's the one. One of those, please. Garlic. I think we needed. Wait. Yes, we did. Garlic, tomato, lettuce. Now, the last pieces of the puzzle are walnut and lime. So, to double check that these aren't saplings, because these might be trees. Walnut from Pam's Harvest Craft. You get it from a walnut sapling. Now, I think you can buy saplings. Walnut sapling, check. Lime. So I do believe that's a set. Walnut, lime. Walnut and lime. Bam! We have everything that we're gonna need to make our chimichangas. Holy sweet, we've ticked off everything on our to-do list down here. That's pretty amazing. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Feed the City. So we put together a couple of lists today. We've got all the ingredients now mapped out, all the seeds collected. We went to the village, traded up some, some string, some leather, a bunch of junk we didn't really need or that we can get lots more of for emeralds, which are super, super hard to come by resource. So um, I'm glad we found a way to cheese that. Next episode, we're going to hit the farms. We're going to dig out the forest that you see over there behind me. Most of those pine trees are going to go. The journey, just be gone. And then we'll be able to uh, put out some farms. Now, the first farms we want, we are going to use uh, industrial foregoing, which is the same kind of farming tools that we use for our cattle, for our cows, and, uh, and for our sheep. So we're going to use those to get these crops planted so we can make a chimichanga. That way, we can ship the ingredients to the restaurant, they can make the chimichanga there, so it's nice and hot and fresh for the customer as they come in. And then, of course, we'll have to build the restaurant. But that's not all. We're also going to make a barley farm, because barley is how we're going to get our forestry multi-block farm working again. It feels like a bit of a waste of time, but we've gone through so much to get that forest, that forestry multi-farm. I want to get that sucker working. I want to I prove that we can do Minecraft. Until next time, guys, take care.